Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's look, I'm going to use the Morphe 35BI palette. I'm starting with the white eyeshadow shade. I'm going to use a Zygma E57 brush to apply this right underneath the brow bone. So I'm just going to softly blend my brush back and forth. Now I'm going in with this bright pink shade. What I love about this palette is that it contains a lot of matte vibrant shades which I think are so freaking awesome because you can get really creative using this palette and I use it for so long, like seriously. Um, I'm not a huge fan of all Morphe products, but this palette definitely is one of my favorites. So I'm going to use that bright shade to create a crease line and I'm not doing it very precise. Don't worry if it's not a very sharp or thin line because we will blend it out anyway. So now I'm going in with this light pink shade and I'm going to use this to blend out that bright pink shade. So I'm using a bigger fluffy brush by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going around the edges and this will basically be my transition shade. So you can also go first in with this light pink shade and then go in with the vibrant pink shade. But I'm also going slightly on top of the crease line to make it already a little bit softer. So now I'm going back in with that vibrant pink shade because I have sort of blended everything out and I really want that pink shade to pop in my crease so that's why I'm going back in and I'm using a blending brush by Morphe and I'm just going again around that line and I'm blending this back and forth and also slightly I'm going up a little bit higher towards my brow so this is going higher than the first time I applied the crease line Now again, I'm going back in with that light pink shade. Just to make sure that it isn't harsh, I'm just going around the edges using a Makeup Geek brush. This brush has no number, unfortunately, and it isn't available anymore as far as I know. But I'm just going back and forth, and you can use any blending brush that you have at home. If you feel like you need to use more of that bright pink shade or more of that light pink shade, just do whatever you feel like your eye look needs at that moment. So now I'm going to use the white shade that I also used at the beginning for underneath the brow bone. And I'm going to reapply this. And I also feel because I reapply it, it will sort of melt into the pink eyeshadow. And I just feel like everything blends together. If you want a more glowy, uh, shiny effect, you can also use a shimmery shade for underneath the brow bones. Just give your own twist to it. You don't need to use all the exact same products that I use. So now I'm going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I use it in the shade NC15. And I'm going to use this all over the crease line. And I'm using a Dose of Colors Concealer Brush. And this is a very flat brush which I really like to use because it's more easy to create a very sharp line instead of using a very thick brush. And I'm showing this in all my cut crease videos, so for me it feels like I'm repeating myself over and over again. But if you're new to my channel, I'm sure you want to know what I'm doing right now. So I'm going straight underneath that crease line that I created at the beginning. And as you can see, because I use this concealer, it will leave me with a very sharp and clean effect. And if you're doing a cut crease for the first time, I'm sure it might look a little bit scary, like, oh my god, I've never done a cut crease, it must be so hard. But believe me, if you just use some concealer, it's very easy and it will clean up all the mistakes you have made. So now I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Rockstar eyeshadow. This is a very light, cool tone eyeshadow shade and I'm going to press this at the beginning of my eyelids. Now I'm going in with Makeup Geek High Wine. And this is just basically a silver metallic type of shade. When I created this eye look, I already knew that I was going for a silvery glittery eyelid. So whenever I apply glitter on the eyelids, I always want to go in with a shimmery shade right underneath it. I just know that this will, this will look great, so that's why I'm doing this. And I'm also going to slightly apply this along the end of the crease. Now to make the glitter stick, I'm using the MAC Mixing Medium Gel and the silver glitters that I'm using today are by the brand RXI and they are so pretty and they, the glitters that they sell are very fine. Um, they are not very like uh, thick consistency, they are just very fine glitters. So they're really easy to work with and I think they have a very pretty reflex 
it's just so gorgeous i mean every time i do a glitter look i just love it and i want to do it every time but of course i need to do something different now and then um but i'm just going to press this all over the eyelids and also along the end of my cut crease along the winged end if you know what i mean so make sure that you have enough of the mixing medium gel on top of it so it stays in place and it's not going to stick on your crease for my eyeliner i use the nyc liquid line i skipped that part because i show it in all my videos and for any waterline i'm going to use the suiva black eye pencil and since i'm going i went for a very thick black eyeliner I wanted to use some black for the waterline and underneath the lower lash line to make it connect with the wing and to create a more of a smoky effect. So I'm just going to blend this in the waterline. Now I'm going to use the black eyeshadow shade from the Morphe 35B eye palette. And I'm going to softly blend and press this right underneath the lower lash line. Also softly applying this on top of the waterline. Don't do this if you have or wearing contacts because it might get in your eyes and then I'm not sure but I'm sure it will not feel comfortable but I don't wear contacts so it's very easy for me and it will connect the black eyeshadow with the eye pencil in the waterline now I'm going in with this pinky eyeshadow shade I'm not sure what kind of pink it is it has a sort of pinky purple undertone it's very pretty so I'm blending this underneath the black eyeshadow and then I'm going in with this MAC brush I'm just going to blend my brush back and forth. But for my lashes, I use Sultry Lashes from my own lash company, Anytude. They're so pretty and they are back in stock. I will link down in the description bar a discount code that you can use. Yes, this is already the end of the tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe if you aren't already. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!